Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I won't say I'll be analyzing, but I'll be talking about the chart of gold. So let's get started. So my dear friends, today is the last trading day of 2023. The year is about to end here. And most importantly, today we will also be having monthly closing and weekly closing. So as a result, market will be volatile. Market may show some unexpected moves. So if you had an overall profitable week, profitable month, then it's time to lock your profits and just watch the market, observe the market. Usually after Christmas till first week of January or till second week of January, we don't get to see much volatility in the market. But this December was very, very special. And the reason was market was anticipating rate cuts next year as a result of which gold was showing unexpected moves. And yes, day traders also make good amount of money also. Gold made a high of 2087 and right now we can see gold is showing correction. But today is not the right day for beginners, new traders. If you have good amount of experience in the market, if you know how to scalp, how to book quick profits, if you know how to do risk management, then you can go for it. But otherwise, it's better to avoid the market. Okay, if you have a good uh here a good week or a good month because if we just look at the market then you can clearly see the trend is up so for swing traders for position traders there is no doubt that this market is an uptrend and if you try to read the market sentiment then obviously we know it very well that market is also giving us bullish signs you can see here gold set for best year in three as fed red cut uh, bets boost appeal gold rises amid fed rate cut prospects so this is the market sentiment and we can expect that by next year or by the uh, by next month we may get to see further upside on the chart of gold and if you look at the chart of dxy and this is just a dead cat bounce if you uh, if you are familiar with investing term then probably you have heard about dead cat bounce means so uh, no market in the world goes up in a straight line goes down in a straight line there will be minor bounces so this is just a minor bounce not a trend reversal don't forget because the next big event that uh, may bring trend reversal on the chart of dxy is nfp that is coming on the first week of january not now so as a result dxy is still in downtrend and this is just a temporary bounce in the market which is also known as dead cat bounce okay and if you look at the chart of gold then if you are a positional trader if you have been holding gold for a couple of weeks couple of months then yes you can expect further upside gold will be heading towards 2150 in the coming weeks and coming months but if you're a day trader then obviously you need to focus on this particular portion of the market only or you only need to focus here and what is the trend right now you can see the same chart but we have two trends present so for swing traders position traders the market is an uptrend but for day traders who are planning to go for quick buy and next quick entry and exit for them the market is in downtrend so you need to plan your trades accordingly so if you're a day trader if you're a scalper then obviously you need to consider this particular portion of the market because right now Goal is going for a retracement. Goal is showing retracement sign, so we may get to see further downside. Right now on the chart of goal, do we have any major levels? So um, honestly speaking, my dear friend, we can see yesterday 50 moving average was doing a fine job. After that, when market broke in, 100 moving average uh, provided support to the market. Okay, so if you look at the chart here, then you can see the next good support on the chart of goal is around 2060. So during the day, okay, during the day, if you want to go for a buy, you can expect a 40 pips, at least a 40 pips bounce, a $4 bounce around 206 or 2061. Once market will hit, you can go for a buy if you see market is showing price ejection from below. Otherwise, the next best support on the chart of gold is around 2050. So these are the two levels where you can expect a good bounce or at least I'll say that a reliable bounce. 2060 to 2061 or around 2050. 2060 to 2061 because of FIBO 38.2% investment level and 2050 because it's a psychological level 
previous support around this area as well as we will also be having 200 moving average if we combine all the factors at least we can expect a bounce uh, as a day trader around 2050 but if market comes down with not much volatility 2060 is also a better level but as a day trader okay if you're planning to sell because the trend of the market is towards the downside i will not be recommending any levels because this is a 15 minute chart and after trading for more than 10 years, one thing I have learned that as a trader, it is very essential to know when not to trade in the market. I'm not saying that you will not get uh, selling opportunities in this chart. Yes, there will be some selling opportunities, but there is a very thin line between trading and gambling and we should respect it. Sometimes we gamble unknowingly and we should avoid it. Okay, so if you are planning to take a sell position considering the present trend of the market you can go for it you can go for a sell around 2080 you can look for a sell around 2075 but, but personally i will not recommend it in case you get a buy a uh, buy opportunity around 2060 2051 you may you may look for a buy position because those are good levels but simply gambling okay just for the sake of uh, just for the sake of some uh, adrenaline rush okay I will not recommend it okay so and that uh, it's your um, decision okay my duty is to give you the right suggestion so I am just doing it so it's your call right now but try to avoid the market until unless you get the market at the right price because weekly closing monthly closing and last trading day and uh, it's a Friday also and um, traders around the world will be wrapping up their positions during the US session as a result of which you may get to see some unexpected spikes or price ejections in the market okay and that may cost you a lot so that's all from my side my dear friends bye bye take care have a lovely 31st night bye bye take care